So you guys mean to tell me that after all these shameful plugs, you guys still aren't following me on Twitch. And after the best weekend that we've ever had, well, it's time for one more plug. Bam, bam, bam. I'm sorry. My offensive and defensive ebooks are now available over on hotrod.tips. If you guys are looking to win more games than Madden 20, that's the place to be. And don't forget, use code CHAOS for 10% off at checkout. What's good, everybody? We're back with another Chaos Coaching video, and I'm not going to waste any time today. We're getting right into it, guys. You guys see the lineup here? This is probably the most juiced lineup I've ever had. We have a 96 overall. We did replace Lamar Jackson. We got Michael Vick. Lamar Jackson's great. He's the fastest. He's got a good on-the-run release. His in-pocket release is just a little slow for me, so I did go back to Michael Vick. But our team's looking good, man. It's looking really, really solid. Uh, if you guys are new to these videos, basically what they are is just me breaking down what I do, my adjustments, why I'm calling a certain play, what I see my opponent doing and how we can counter it, stuff like that. It's a little bit less edited, uh, more directional video for you guys to learn. It's not it's not more in, more for entertainment. There is some entertaining things. Usually we get a decent game or sometimes we get a decent game, but it's more for informational. Now, quickly, I did want to shout out uh, my guy B-Guard and my guy Mikey B. Uh, B-Guard gave me this juice check and Mikey B gave me Christian Okoye. Those were for the theme team videos. I forgot to shout them out on those videos. They hooked me up. That was big. Um, so I just want to thank them for that. I, I want to, sometimes you gotta give love where, where love is due guys. And those guys show me love. They helped me out. So I want to give them a quick shout out. I paid for most of these players and I've wasted a ton of coins, but they did hook me up with those two. Defensively, we look great guys. We did get the new Taylor Mays. X factors, Aaron Donald, run stopper and pass rush elite, super goon. We also have pass rush elite on Lawrence Taylor. And then we have Taylor Mays. We are using lurker today. We're using lurker guys. I complain about lurker to you guys every single day. Time. I don't think it does anything for me. We're gonna try it today. If it gets me a great pick, maybe we'll use it in the future. I did go, I forgot to go over my offense. I want to show you guys that. Boss 100 and Calvin. We have two receivers with, of course, escape artist Vic. The reason why we're doing that is because Eric Dickerson's nerfed. He no longer works for the entire game. So it's not really worth using a running back for me because I pass the ball a lot. So we have two receivers. I feel like that helps me pass the ball really, really well. Guys, Dolphins offense, Dolphins defense per usual. If you guys are new, or if you guys don't know, we just updated our defenses on over on hot rod tips. Both defenses got updated and that's Jets and Dolphins. And I'm updating my offense tomorrow. So basically that means we have three updates in the past week. And if you're a member over there, you get access to all nine ebooks that we have guys. A lot of big things going on over there. Hope you guys will check that out. That's it for the team. That's it for the plugs. Let's get into the game. All right, baby. Let's see what we're looking like. He's got Michael Vick. Got to worry about that. Always Brian Cushing. That's that's an odd choice. I wonder if he's any good, but you guys see our team. I love having a juice team up top. I get into these games. I like to give you guys pretty much similar direction to what we usually do. It's it's always, I'm telling you guys, put your first options on the main menu to kick. If you guys aren't kicking off uh, with your first option, you guys are doing it wrong. And for the second option, make sure you put it to against win. Because if you do happen to lose the toss, it'd be nice in the fourth quarter to have the win for you when you're kicking your game winning field goals or having to do a deep punt, something like that. So make sure you guys have those two options. Also, making sure you're doing your subs, your, your formation subs, and your audibles. Guys, making sure you have the right play out there and putting your personnel in a position to be successful is super important. Now, you guys see me moving Lawrence Taylor to the middle linebacker spot. That's actually where I like to stop the run from. So when I go to 3-4 out, it's just to stop the run. It's not for pass rushing. And then when I, you guys see when I'm in my 1-4-6, Lawrence Taylor's right here pass rushing. So just putting them in the success, putting them where I want them to be, where I think they can help me the most. He's coming on tight offset. You guys know I hate playing this thing. I've played Thrones too many times in this. Too many times. He's going to run inside zone from this. The inside zone is very good. The Y out corner route is very, very good. There's lots of things you can do from it. But I got to be ready. Pretty much stop anything that he wants to do out of that. And just know already right off rip what the best things are from it. He's got X factors on both the top guys. That probably means he knows what he's doing. He probably has a hot, uh, the slot apprentice and probably post corner elite on both, uh, both his inside slot guys. He's motion over, probably going to block him. I need to make sure I get home right here. So, ooh, we send pressure. We, okay, he's got the post. He's got, ooh, we got after him. Let's go. He's, he's got double post. He definitely knows what he's doing. He just showed he has a lot of apprentice on the guys. This guy definitely knows what he's doing. It's probably going to be a good game. It's probably going to be informational. Now, when I play tight off set or any other compressed set, something I love to do is sending seven at them while also just uh, lurking in the A gap and making sure I get a touch here. If you engage this guy, it's going to be as if you're sending eight. And you can back up and lurk. And it puts them in a tough spot. They're not going to be able to block the blitz. They're going to have to make a quick read. Especially on a third and 18 like this. When they need to pick up a big chunk of yards. Don't give them time to do it. Do not give them time to pick up a lot of yards. I'm going to hit this guy. Bam. We're coming through. Oh my gosh. My guy stopped in the contain. If you guys look on the left. You guys look at the left. The guy was wide open to come in and sack him. He just stayed there on the contain. I don't know why he did that. But that's okay. That's okay. He only picked up six. Again, I told you guys. He has to make quick reads. 
If he wants to make quick reads all day and live and die with that, that's cool. I'm going to do the same exact thing. Deep blues. He's going to have to pick up 12 yards. I don't think he's going to have time to pick up 12 yards. I'll be honest with you. I don't think he will. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to touch this guy up again. Just a little touch up. And we should be able to get some pressure on him. I'm holding this gap. You got to make sure you hit the guard. If you don't hit the guard, it's as if you weren't even there, in my opinion. It helps a little bit. But you got to make sure you get a touch. Get a touch. Bam. Oh, good freaking SWAT, Dion, you goon. Let me go to the crib. Let me get to the... Oh, my gosh, Calvin. Stop being so... Spin. Get across. Oh, I'm trying to get sticky. I'm... You guys know I don't get sticky often. You guys don't come here for that. You guys come for defensive adjustments and dots. If you want to come for stick, you're in the wrong place. I'll be honest right now. I don't get no sticky. But I try. I try. You guys got to give me an A for effort. You guys know I give my best efforts. Now, we got to stop. So we're not going to be able to use our Moss 100. That's honestly okay. Guys, if you're using Moss, don't force it to Moss, man. Put Do the Moss play. But honestly, take your underneath routes half the time. I feel like I dropped Moss a lot now. I feel like they nerfed it. And honestly, guys are sending eight and nine at you. So that's just my opinion on it, man. Uh, I'm not mad at not being able to use my Moss anymore. Uh, it's not it's not the biggest deal. But that being said, he's going to come out in this one four six. Uh, good defense. He's not going to stop the run um, repeatedly in that. He's still sitting in this one four six. That's cool. I'm not, I don't have to run the ball every time against him, but it's something I'm going to be able to do. It looks like he's blitzing off the right side. And he is. So we're going to be able to take this flat. Get up field. Oh, my goodness. That's an, that's an unlucky animation. Usually, we can pick up a little bit more than five on that. Five isn't bad, but if we can get up field, that's usually like eight or nine. But again, now it's third and five. I kind of feel like we're in we're in only three down territory. We're not in four down territory personally for my feel. Simply because I think we already got to stop and we feel pretty good on defense. But that being said, I, I'm going to double team this guy in ID here because it looks like he's blitzing off that side. We're going to try to flood the right side. We were able to do it. We don't have anything open, though. We're just going to throw the ball away. So it's fourth and five here. Th th this, this is chaos coaching, guys. This is chaos coaching. I have to give you guys the best advice. Pick your three. We're up a stop. So essentially, we just need to get another stop. And we're going to be basically winning the game. But that being said, man, I want to go for it. It's fun. It keeps the games competitive sometimes. Just in case the game's going to get out of hand. I like to do this. So we'll see here. Now he's blitzing off the right, it looks like. I think he's only going to send four people. If he does that, that's fine. We're going to double team here. We're going to ID here. We should be able to pick it up that way. And we're going to read Wheeler Post. Whatever one he lurks, Wheeler Post. We should be good. He actually blitzed them all. He's going to get home. Oh my gosh, I found, but I forgot to go to conservative. No, dude. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh, that's all on me. Obviously, I was stopped regardless. I play on conservative, guys. Now that I don't have Dickerson or an X-Factor running back, there's no reason for me to be on balance. The jukes aren't as good. I can spin. Sometimes I can go back to balance. But I'm usually passing the ball. Play on conservative. You don't fumble in the pocket, like, ever. Um, and essentially, it, it, it's just, it makes everything a lot easier when you're passing the ball. So play on conservative. That being said, it's as if we didn't stop him now. We're down 7-0. And now we're going to actually have to, like, full out play. He did a good job blitzing right there. He sent five. I only expected him to send four. So that's a good play. So we're down 7-0. I said this guy from the get knew what he was doing. He's running tight offset. He has the X factors that he should in the right spots. And he's running 146. He's doing a good job blitzing out of it. So what I need to do right now is I need to wake up, put together a drive, get back in this game. I should have just kicked my three, man. I should have just kicked my three. That stinks. I'm going to keep going down in this run, though. I don't think he can routinely uh, stop this run the entire game. So we'll see how it goes. Yep, he's not going to stop it the whole game. He's not going to stop it the whole game. I told you guys. I told you guys he's not going to stop it the whole game. He stopped it once. The 146 is not going to stop these juiced up runs with these good blockers. Now, let me go back to conservative. Make sure I don't fumble again the rest of this game. But, guys, if they're in 146 and they stop you once, do it again. If they stop you again, do it again. Do it again. Keep running the ball. That's how this game works. I can stop the run every single play. The next play, they break an 80 yard run. It, it's just the way it is, man. So keep giving yourself a chance to break an easy one. If you don't have to think as much, if you don't have to work as hard for an easy seven, it makes you feel good. He just got an easy seven off a of fumble six. I just got an easy seven off a of run. Back in the tight offset. I'm ready for the run. He's probably going to run the ball on first down, I would imagine. And we'll see what he goes from there. But if he doesn't run the ball, that's cool too. Yeah, I figured he'd run the ball. Usually, ooh, LT, be nice, baby. Be nice. Usually people, when they're in tight offset and they see one, one four, six, they're going to try their inside zone. It's kind of the same thing as me audibling down and trying my run. Sometimes it's just the best play to make, man. And um, if they blow it up, then you go to your passing. He's probably going to pass the ball now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send seven at him. I'm going to do this a lot against this. Honestly, guys, the way th the game is like, you guys might complain. Why are you sending seven so much? It's glitch. It's 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 not fair. It's seven man blitzes. But guys, I can't stop his corner out either. That like, it's very tough to stop these corner routes. So like, like, come on, baby, get after him. Like, what do you want me to do? Like, 
if I can't stop the routes, that's kind of cheating too, I guess. Like, I mean, it's what are you going to do to stop it if you can't send pressure, right? So it is what it is. We're going to send pressure again. We're going to keep doing it until he shows he can stop it. We are going to keep doing it. I'm going to move this guy over here to make sure I don't give up any seam streaks. I'm going to touch this guy up. Make sure I get a good touch. Now, if, if I don't get a good touch, I'm just going to back it up and make sure I don't give up anything deep. We got it. We're good. Humming. Humming, baby. It, it, they think I'm sending eight people. So what are they supposed to do? There's nothing they can do against that to block it. You're never, you're never going to be able to block that in tight offset ever because it's eight versus seven, essentially. And they just, they can't block eight people. They don't have the capability in their, in their formation to do that. We're back on offense here. Now I was curious to see if he was going to get out of that one, four, six. He did. It looks like he's sending seven people and he's going to be hovering against me. Now I'm going to do what I told you guys to do. Try a run. If I, if I break a run, great for me, right? If I don't, then we'll go to passing the ball. So we'll see how this goes here. Motion him in. Oh my goodness. I mean, talk about test to see if there was a run. That run was no good. All right. So here we go. We're kind of doing the same thing to each other. The th these tight formations, you can really get after if you send a ton of pressure at them. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to run wide receiver corners here. I'm actually going to, um, no, check that. I'm going to run mesh. I actually, I'm going to max pro everybody. I'm going to block everyone on my field, except for the two players and see if I can get somebody open. We got perfect blocking. Oh, the cover three is guarded. Okay. Okay. I see what he's doing. I see what he's doing. He's making good plays. He's playing good defense. We're actually going to send five out on this play. He obviously can't guard everything when he's setting seven people. So we're just going to take this running back wheel. I mean, oh my gosh. It was a running back streak, but I really want to go for it. You know what? This is chaos coaching. You should punt the ball. We're playing good defense. Of course, I'll give you guys the right advice. I'm going to go for it, though. Just a streak in a deep end. Just a streak in a deep end. He's gonna, oh, my gosh. He was going to... Mm, it was wide open. It was wide open. My guy blocked shit. Dang it. Get this freaking whistle off me, man. Get it off. Dang it, man. Like... Mm, I wanted I wanted points, right? I wanted seven right there. I didn't want to punt on the ball. Pull that crap up. Pull that crap up. I wanted seven. That being said, man, I feel comfortable on offense when if he goes back on his drive. I feel like we can do some stuff with him. And uh we'll just we just gotta make sure we be careful. Oh, nice play. He's got he's got route technician and route apprentice on this guy. Oh no, he has post corner lead. So nice play by him. He's gonna be able to pass out of this eye close. I just gotta be mindful of that. We're, we're, we're gonna be okay in this game, guys. I feel comfortable. I feel like we played good defense the whole time. We haven't played the best offense, I guess. But that being said, we did fumble for six. So I'm not too mad at it. We just gotta make sure we try to hold a three right here. If we can hold a three, I'll feel really good. But even if it was seven, like I'm pretty sure it's our ball at half. We should be fine. Pull that up, pull that up, pull that up, Taylor. Oh, Taylor Mays. Ugh. All right, sending this pressure again. I don't mind it, dude. We can pick it up. I'm just gonna put a streak in a deep end again. See if we can beat him over the top. See if he'll break off. Ah, uh, is he gonna break off? No, I'll just low pass this here. That's okay. That's okay. I'll, if I didn't have to roll out right there, I probably could have thrown the streak over the top. I don't mind it. What I'm just going to do, honestly, guys, against this defense that he's sending, he's sending seven with a hover. I'm either just going to continue to uh, send two out with good routes or just send five out and just mix it up every single time with stuff that he can't guard. He can't guard them all, right? So just make sure... Make sure when I'm sending five out, I have good routes that I can quickly throw. So I'm probably going to send him throwing Y here on this running back streak. Hopefully they don't bat it down like they did last time. And bam, throw that running back streak. Ooh, that's why you're all conservative. That's why you're all conservative so you don't take those fumbles. Now, I don't think he's actually getting a good hover when he comes down here. I feel like I can actually pick it up while sending out uh, everybody. I'm not 100% sure. If, if he hums at me right here, he hums at me. I got to see. I don't think he's getting a good touchdown here. He's not. He's not. And we got him. We got him. Yes, sir. Rack that. Rack that. Let's go. I saw it. So where he was hovering, if you guys go back and look. You know what? Matter of fact, I'll put it in the replay for you guys. I will put it in the replay for you guys. If you guys go back and look, he was hovering in a spot where he couldn't get a touch. I am big on touch him up. Touch him up. Make sure you touch that lineman for just a millisecond so he can't block somebody else. And he wasn't doing it. He was by the tackle, but he wasn't engaging. So that means the guys that are coming in free, it still was like a 7v7. I had perfect time. We get Calvin over the top. Easy touchdown. It worked out perfectly for us. That was just that was just something I learned in game. Usually when people are, are engaging like that, they can't. I can't pick it up. But since he wasn't engaging properly, I was able to pick it up. I feel like I ramble in these videos just so much, man. I think I just ramble the whole time. I don't know. Ooh, ooh, it's like, oh. I don't know if it's annoying to you guys or if it's helpful or what, but I just feel like there's so much to tell you guys. There's so much direction to give. Again, if you guys are looking for entertainment where I'm super hilarious, I'm not even that funny. Let's be honest here. But when I actually try to be funny, these aren't really the video for you guys. Those are going to be the Mutt Jeopardy's, the theme teams, stuff like that. But 
these are more for directional i hope i hope i'm helpful i really do hope i'm helpful if i'm not let me know where i can improve because i would love to know but that being said we need to get a stop right here it's our oh humming humming baby it's our ball at half so if i can somehow get a stop and get the ball like get a stop get points and then get the ball back at half we can really put this game out of reach that's why i called timeout there because if i i have him on a third and 18 that's a tough spot if i can get the ball back we should be okay going into halftime only gonna send four here audible into this bunch we should be able to get pressure against it but i just want to i don't want to give up anything near the sidelines we have good we have good knee nothing was over baby we're humming get that timeout in now we have a timeout we have 50 seconds we have a chance at points before half if i can somehow get just three all i need is three we'll be down we'll be up and then we'll have the ball at halftime we have a chance to put it two possessions basically put it out of reach now if i can get a good pelt return here that'll put me in a spot where i can kind of be safe keep it in bounds keep it in bounds ah all right he kicked it out we got a chance here again guys i don't think he's getting a good hover here we're gonna try to bomb him we did we got him we got him again we got him again we got him again rock that we got him again let's go come on man dude i'm telling you guys i'm telling you right now it's just it's really just honestly thinking about the game sometimes when you're playing somebody right and they're sending seven and they're hovering and you just like man i can't block this thing dude i can't block i get asked all the time Ken, how do you deal with people sending seven with an engage how do you deal with it well just think about it if they're if they're engaging the line they're essentially sending eight people you can't block that unless you motion block a receiver and block block both your running backs which i do do from time to time and actually it has helped me especially now that i have two route apprentices but you can't block it with just seven so either send five out and make a super quick read or even just send three out and make a really quick read or just just read the situation i see he's actually not getting a good engage if someone if you're playing someone that's not getting a good engage then you can just block seven and try to make a play from it so just really just reading the game guys really thinking about it actually just taking time to realize the situation can really be helpful all right he's in this gun like split off set here he's gonna probably go to the swing route play i'm ready for it i have the guy man if he goes to the swing route play he didn't do it all right we got a guy man outside nothing should be open we're there we're there we're there man we're humming we're playing good defense i like that i like that four sacks from rod wow man wow oh my gosh the quick hike thing it's my daily oh we hum but i have to do it it's my daily complaint about the under two minutes just being able to quick hike the ball anytime you want to maneuver i can't stand it i get so annoyed there it is again hum again pick it oh i get so annoyed that when it's under two minutes you not only just morph from the huddle to the line of scrimmage you can instantly hike the ball before I can make a single adjustment, which is just, it's just madness to me, man. I love to complain about that. It's probably my, it's probably my biggest complaint this year was, has been those under two minute uh, quick hikes, but it is what it is. We're just going to go into the next half. I don't mind just running the ball here. We're up, we're up on possession. Could make it two. All right, man, we're coming out of halftime here. Again, we can, we are in a position to pretty much finish this game off. We can get any type of points here. He did go back to the one, four, six. I guess we were toasting the three, four odd. So now I'm just trying to break another run. We already broke one before. We can break another one. We can break another one. Oh, I was on. I was all conservative, so I couldn't spin or anything. But if he's going to go to this one four six, I don't mind toting on it. I feel like it's just so tough to blow up when I do that motion that I don't mind continuing to just try to take advantage of it and try to make a why why work hard on offense when I can just try to break a, break a big run right here. So we're going to do it again. He say, as long as he stays in this one four six and doesn't blow it up. Ooh, we did the the pinch linebackers is tough. I do that too with people audible down. We'll see if it works for him. Got space. I mean, dude, please don't make fun of me on that. Oh my gosh, that was the worst. That was the I don't know how I got six yards. I picked the wrong gap so badly right there. But that being said, I want to run the ball every play. That's boring for you guys. I could probably keep I could probably keep toning on his 146 if I wanted to, but that's not fun. So we're gonna pass the ball here and we're gonna try to pick up a big chunk. Now I'm gonna ID here. Looks like it looks like he's gonna be sending uh five people yeah he did and oh my gosh i had i had everything i had everything i had everything in the world open my streak was open for a touchdown my crosser was open my slant was open that was bad so what he's doing is he's manning up my running back he's doing the man up running back thing now i can block that usually uh when they don't send the other guy but since he's sending the other guy it makes it really really tough i'm gonna try it again here I'll try it again it looks like he's yeah he's not moving that corner in so we should be able to block this we should be able to and we did we're gonna take off take off yes sir yes sir just a little bit of pocket just a little bit of pocket no reason if i can if i can pick up the blitz and he's not gonna spy me i am gladly gonna take my free yards with vic if i don't have to complete that pass that's not that's not a problem but he's going back to the 146 here he's probably gonna send pressure well i'm gonna double team the right side id the other corner he's not manning up the running back on the left with the backed up guy so i should be able to pick up the left guy and i should be able to pick up the right we'll see if it works perfect perfect blocking we have mossed Yes, sir. 
Oh my gosh, it's the worst animation ever. Thank you, good catch. Worst animation ever. I don't know what that was. I usually don't get that. Maybe possession catch there? Maybe possession catch? That probably was... Yeah, it's probably my mistake. I should have possession catch, but man, like... That, I, Moss came down with that. That was nice. That was on Cromartie too. Man, that, hey, that new Cromartie looks pretty good. Let me know if you guys are picking that guy up. I, uh, I've been thinking about it, but we'll see. I, mean, I like my corners right now. Maybe get rid of Rob Woodson. Maybe Rob Woodson needs to be replaced. We'll see. But uh, go back to this toad here. My receivers are tired. Oh, we got space. Eat him. Oh, Randy, you're the worst run blocker, man. Come on. I know I said I was going to start passing the ball a little bit more, but my receivers are still tired. So we have to run the ball here. Moving these guys in, trying to make a play with them. Oh my gosh, Ken, pick the right gap for once. For once, pick the right gap. Looking for either corner here. Oh my gosh. Where's he going? Oh man, dude. I was greedy. I was greedy. I, I said I was looking for either corner there. I meant the, the, the hitch or the corner, but ah, once I saw he was on the deep blue, I thought he might leave the streak and I just sat there and just took a bad sack. That was bad. That was bad. Not not the best play. Now I don't I don't want to be I don't want to be dumb down here. I want to make sure I get some type of points so I can make sure I finish off the game. If I, because if I don't, if I don't finish off the game right here, then he gets the ball back. And if I, if I make a mistake, I want to make sure he's down two possessions. If he's only up one, then there's trouble. But we picked up his blitz. We should have it. Touchdown, 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 touch. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That was scary. Let's go. For some reason, was I not on a hash? If I wasn't on a hash, that's why the cloud was back there. But usually that hitch will hold that cloud. And I was, I thought the post was going to be an easy touchdown. And all of a sudden, I see the cloud going back. But maybe, maybe he didn't click on to catch it. I don't know. But. I don't, it doesn't matter what happened. We got our touchdown. We're up two possessions now. I can't do anything crazy. As long as I don't give up a big play, we'll win the game. I'll tell you one thing though. I do want to get one lurk with, I mean, I got stuck again. I want to get one lurk with Taylor Mays before the end of this video. One lurker. And I, I either want him to miss on a lurk and me get to complain to you guys like crazy or for it to actually work and I actually get something with it. I'll, I'll settle for either one. Either one's fine with me. We'll see what we can get, so. Again, he's back in this side offset. You guys know what's going down. Okay, he audible down. Oh, I don't mind. I don't mind this. If he wants to run dive or something, I don't mind it. He shouldn't. He shouldn't be able to get anything there. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, I blew it up. Lawrence Taylor came in so quick that he tackled the quarterback. Oh, tackled the running back. He has the ball. All right, he's coming on this doubles. So I'm gonna send a little bit of pressure. Oh, he went. He went to the inside zone. Oh, Taylor. Ooh, we got him on the fourth down. I hope he runs the ball again. Go ahead and run the ball again. Run the ball, run the ball, run the ball. He's gonna, he's blown up in the backfield. If he runs the ball, he's blown up in the backfield. 100%. Oh, he passed. Aaron! Oh, that wasn't a catch. I, I know it's a lucky bat down, whatever. I was batting that down with Aaron Donald. No, he's gonna quit, dude. No, finish the game off, please. He will always quit out of the chaos coaching videos. All right, man, that's gonna do it. I hope I was helpful for you today, guys. I feel like I was rambling so much. There's just so much to teach in these videos. So many things happening. But if you guys enjoyed, please drop a like for me. It really does help me out. That's it, man. <sighs> I love you guys. Take it easy. Peace. Oh, man. I'm actually glad he quit out. My voice was kind of going on me right there.